guys, welcome to the house renovation series. Sorry for the street noise, there's basically holes in the wall, so that's renovation life. It's high time that I started dedicated videos talking about our house renovation because it is a huge project and I wanted to document it properly. But of course we are actually kind of in the middle of it <laughs> but i think it took us so long to start the renovation that i didn't really believe it was properly going for quite some time but we are definitely definitely making progress now um, we've still got a long long way to go so don't worry there's lots to lots to see still but I think I'll just take you through how we got here. I will link up any relevant vlogs I can think of down below, our house tour that we did before we even touched the house. So if you've come to this new and fresh and you don't know who I am and you're just interested in renovation content, I am Jess. I am currently living with my partner and my one-year-old baby in my mum's house. We have been there for a long time uh, not really intentionally. We wanted to save money, bought the house, and then basically the renovation took us a long time to get started for many reasons, COVID being one of them. We are using a contractor that we already know and love, who my mum has used in the past. She's done renovations with him in the past. So I can't offer too much advice about looking for a good contractor because we do have a really excellent one who was just, it was a word of mouth situation, obviously, and we've had experience with him before. Um, and he is great. He sees our vision, he has visions of his own, and he has already given us lots of ideas for this house, which is really great, and um, you will see many of them. So this house is a pretty standard Victorian terraced house in London. There's lots of them about they all have a pretty similar layout but they all are all sort of minorly different at the same time so things i particularly liked about this house it's just a touch wider than some of the ones that we saw that were kind of in the same budget it's quite a lot bigger but it, that meant it was quite a lot more run down when we bought it um it's got a big basement which is excellent for storage considering we have so much stuff it's originally a five bedroom room if you watch my original house tour you will know the room i'm sitting in now is our master and it had like a weird little room within a room i think because it must have been like a flat at some point we have taken it all the way down to a two bedroom and then added on a bedroom on the top floor so things that have been done and that's, I think, like I said, what I will talk about today with you is like how we got to this stage. So with a big project, it makes sense to move from the top of the house through to the bottom. Um, we are doing two big structural things, which is we've added a loft, which is basically, you know, more or less getting to a finished state. It doesn't look very much like a room, but you know, it's plastered. A lot of it's plastered. And then the next one, it would be a side extension um, it's called a side return very often in our kitchen. So those are the kind of two big things we're doing to the house, but basically everything needed doing. We're replacing windows, we're doing basically everything. Yeah, should we go up to the loft? Let's go up to the loft. But yeah, I mean, we're doing up this house to actually live in. This is going to be our family home. It means a lot and we're being kind of perfectionists about it too. There's no stairs. So this is the only new room in the house. This did not exist. You will not see this on the original room tour. Um, room tour? House tour. Yeah, it's a loft space. And basically we already had some kind of attic -y eve space up here. And what they'll do is they just use some of that space and then they like pop a box onto the top of the house essentially to make a room which you can stand up in. So that's what we've got. So I am gonna express some opinions in this house series, okay? <laughs> because I have to, because I have to explain why we've chosen certain things over other things. But please, we all have different tastes when it comes to interiors. And also there's lots of things that I like but I wouldn't do in my own home or I think they suit certain buildings certain 
people. So yes, please don't take any offense um, to any opinions I express about interiors because, you know, we all feel differently about things. But one of the major things we wanted to achieve in this space, which you obviously cannot see yet, um, is to make it feel as much a part of the house and as old as possible. That's very much our style. Um, we're gonna be big traditionalists. With the rest of the house, we really kind of just wanna restore it to its glory, basically. It had been attacked in the 70s and then not touched since. Covered in red carpet, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So we want to restore it and make it look gorgeous and um, Victorian again. But obviously we wanted this extra space, but we want to keep it as old looking as possible. So there's a few ways we're going about that. Um, one of the things we really wanted to do, the kind of push into the eaves as much as possible. So we're not going to use this as storage space. People often do use it as storage space. We have the basement and lots of other storage actually in this house. One of the things I really liked about it again. So we're just gonna use this as nice empty space. I think it will also make it look a lot bigger. Um, this little door, this little thing must be for, what's that it's for? It's for kind of utilities in the bathroom. Yeah, it's and just access to all the kind of valves and stuff. There you go, so it's access to bathroom utilities. I think that will make a really big difference to the feel of this room. It does make a big difference to the feel of this room. You know, if you stopped it here, it would feel a lot smaller. Um, it's still a kind of generous space as far as uh, loft conversions go. Um, but yes, yeah, so we wanted it to feel like a loft. So we really wanted to have that kind of sloped roof. There's a lot. There's a lot of it and it looks really nice, I think. We've also kept the chim the shape of the chimney breath. Um, is that going to be hidden with a cupboard, though? No, 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 we're going to kind of work around it. So we're going to have, um, but we are going to have a cupboard, aren't we? It's not a cupboard, it's kind of like a shelf. Kind of right, hole. yeah. I get confused because we are going to have a cupboard here because we are installing aircon because you know well it's, it's going to be pretty warm up here it's super insulated and it's at the top of the house and all sorts of things and because we're doing a big build we thought we'd include aircon so there is going to be a cupboard there to hide that there's going to be like open shelving coming off this so you can really see the shape of the chimney breast which is nice and you can see where these plugs are that's where the bed is going to go we sort of debated where to put the bed because well not so it makes sense with the chimney breast as it is but we could have had the bed more kind of this way and used more of this space but i actually think sort of shunting it under the window a little bit will help um have this space as kind of free space so again i think that's going to make it look quite spacious um because you're really going to have room to sort of walk around there's gonna be other bits of furniture here. So yeah, obviously you're not, we're not gonna <laughs> come climbing up into the loft via a ladder. Um, there is gonna be a flight of stairs just here, and this will be your entryway into the room. Yes, yeah, so another thing was, it's kind of more relevant on that landing, but we wanted to basically create stairs as close to what we already have which is kind of rare with loft conver conversions. Usually you would have a sort of different looking staircase, but we really did want to, if possible, kind of keep it looking, like I said, like a natural part of the house. So we had to nick a bit of space here um, because of just the way it will come around because um, it's quite a lot wider and bigger than your average loft staircase, I suppose. One of our contractor's ideas, Pete, um, he just saw this kind of space here and thought maybe we should use it and it will be a really nice detail in the house, I think. So it's this little mezzanine level um, and basically you're going to access it through this sort of hidden, there's going to be like a hidden door here um, and then you can come and step up onto it, there'll obviously be a window here. So these brown boards are windows. Um, there's one up there too to bring light into the hallway. And there's gonna be 
a big bookcase here. If you are new to me, I have a lot of books. <laughs> I read a lot and there's bookcases all over this house. Oh yes, yeah, so one of the other ways we're gonna make this room look old is we are going to panel it um, completely, basically completely on the ceiling, everywhere with tongue and groove panelling. If I can find a picture, I will insert a picture here. It's a nice old fashioned way of doing, I kind of, the inspiration was like attic room and I think lots of attic rooms have that panelling um, in old houses. Especially I love with the slope, I think it's just going to look really, really nice. So. We're gonna do tongue and groove panelling. I think we've picked the colour for that, which is uh, Fire Emblem French Grey. So it's it's not really a grey, it's kind of a greeny grey, that colour. It's light-ish, wouldn't you say? French Grey is also kind of a darker version of the colour we're gonna have on the interior windows, which I think we've also decided, which is skimmed milk from Fire Emblem. Both are quite off-white, like pretty off-white, pretty greeny. We, this isn't a Georgian house, maybe next time. <laughs> we love that kind of Georgian greeny white color that they have on paint, uh, on woodwork. So yes, I imagine that the windows are gonna turn up and it'll be like, that's quite dark for a window color, the, all the internal windows, but I think it will look really nice. Back over here, through here, we have a little bathroom. Um, this has ended up being quite a lot more spacious than I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, utility is obviously going in there. And then there's going to be a sort of, so what we really wanted to hear was a freestanding basin. Um, I will put our inspiration picture for this bathroom. Uh, there's a couple. I'll put a couple on screen so you can have a look kind of what we're going for in this bathroom. It's quite different to some of the other ones that we're doing. It's a little bit more, I would say glam, this one. Because you know, it's a small bathroom and it's not going to be used every day, at least not initially. So um, we just thought we'd go a bit more, a bit more glam in this one, a bit more kind of hotel bathroom, I guess. So there's going to be a freestanding basin here, but of course that's so annoying when you have skincare, toothbrushes, whatever. So we're going to do a little cupboard under the window here, which you can put stuff on, a little shallow cupboard. That allows us to have the pretty basin. Mirror on top here, we light here, and then this is the shower. So this was another thing that we had to squeeze a little bit to enable us to get that nice wide staircase. But I think we've, I think it will be a good size shower, it's not going to be the biggest shower in the world, but it's definitely not going to be super small either. This will be lit up above, which isn't very old, but that's, you know, sometimes you just gotta do the practical thing. And then, as you can see, there'll be a loo here. Uh, you can see the waste pipe. Off it goes downstairs. It's all right for a man to stand here, isn't it, Zach? Yep. A man of your stature. Yes. <laughs> and have a wee. And the window obviously it's helps with that as well to give us a little bit of extra headroom. So yeah, very pleased with this bathroom because yeah, when we looked at this space, I just really thought it would be quite cramped up here, especially with a bathroom and we debated putting one in, but I'm really glad we did. And I think it's gonna feel really nice. This is what they've been focusing on the most, obviously, because they built like a whole new room. This was the first big thing to happen. Of course, it kind of, it's intended as a spare room. <laughs> so in our minds, it doesn't feel super urgent, but it had to be done because yeah, working top down is the most practical way of doing things. You know, eventually it might be a kid's bedroom as well. So it will be very much needed. Over here, we're gonna have a beautiful floor to ceiling paneled window. So it's gonna be like critical style, which, I just think it's going to be so nice. It's going to bring a really nice, you know, when the sun comes through, it's going to bring a really nice pattern and texture into the room. And I will show you some shots now of us out on the scaffolding earlier. Obviously, it's kind of boarded up right now. But we have another, I mean, basically, just making everything fresh and new up here has been a top priority. So whilst they've been up here, they've done the roof. And yeah, you can see our nice fresh new roof. We've got new rendering, we've got new chimney stack. We've got old chimney pots on a new chimney stack. <laughs> we say it's old chimney pots. 
yeah, we've saved those. So when you look out this window, it's going to look really nice and fresh. And also it's just practically, obviously, something that you probably should do whilst you have scaffolding up, you know, because it was looking a little worse for wear. The big leak wasn't there. So, yes, very excited. So next steps for this room. So our contractor wants us to order tiles because it helps, going to help him work out various different things in there. Um, measurements and such. So we're gonna have tiles, we've decided on our tiles, we're gonna have black and white floor tiles and then two, like a cream and a green uh, wall tile. There was lots of things we debated um, for that room because we weren't originally gonna tile the majority of it. What were we originally gonna do in there? Exposed brick, that's it. Yeah, so it's an external wall on the other side. So it would get really, really cold. So for, well, a lot of heat. and a lot of heat would escape. So um, for insulation reasons, we couldn't have a bare brick wall in there, which is originally what we planned, but alas. So yes, it's all gonna be tiled also because it's kind of, we didn't we'd have a shower door. We're not gonna have a shower door. So it just makes sense to tile that back wall. And then we are gonna have some like paint on like this side. Um, do we even know what colour that's going to be? No. Yes, so next steps are to order tiles, to order bathroom stuff. Um, we've got a floor ordered for in here, but we haven't got any plans to put the tongue and groove in yet. We need these windows done and that wall plastered and just various other little bits and bobs. So let's go downstairs, see what the rest of the house looks like. I think even for those of you who have been watching along, there should be some new bits to see, mostly plastering, to be honest. Um, that's visible, but there's always stuff going on behind the walls. Um, but yes, visually it's a lot of plaster. Okay, so next floor down, though it doesn't really feel like it at the moment, I always, not forget about this room, but you bypass it with the ladder. <laughs> but. When you come down the stairs, this will be the next floor down. This will be Inez's room, our baby. Um, it is, it's just been plastered recently. I'll put some pictures and stuff on screen of, um, cause recently obviously they took the roof off above this. Um, so you could just see the air from this, like last week. So you were just looking outside, um, but there is a plastered ceiling now on. Um, and it's looking really nice in here. Um, we were just talking about this curve. Isn't it gorgeous? That's an original curve there that's been recreated, I guess, right? Yeah, he took the whole curve off. and then The whole done. thing's come off. The whole thing was off. So, um, but I love it. And there's one, there's one downstairs as well. Just looks so nice. Um, is that? So, where? In the hallway. So there is, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to put fireplace back in here, right? Well, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. This fireplace, which is looking a little worse for wear, needs to be retiled. I think that's going to be retiled. Zach's got visions for the retiling. I just love the shape of it, it's so nice. Um, there'll be a little wardrobe there, there was a built in cupboard there. And as you can see from all the window surrounds, we're waiting on new windows. We had PVC ones in um, and we are replacing them all <laughs> with sash windows, which is a mammoth expense and a long wait. Apparently they'll slot in really nicely when they arrive. They're being made up in Yorkshire. Yeah, the lead times on windows are long and we've got a lot of them. But yeah, again, this, this room has a kind of attic feel I guess. Um, there's a room very similar which well, was very similar to this one downstairs but this one actually has quite nice proportions. It's a little bit more square than that one and yeah so we'll have a bed here, some sort of furniture there, a bedside table there. Um, and it's going to be a really nice room and then she's also got another bathroom, her own little bathroom. Um, this one will have a bath shower in it, just behind the door. And that will be panelled in, because I think we're going to do this room in like that kind of half panelled style. 
here's where I meant about us nicking space for our staircase. Um, is it for our staircase or something else? Staircase, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be a loo there, isn't it, and a sink here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a nice and very nicely sized bathroom and there'll be two baths in the house and this will be one of them. Um, so good for kids, obviously. And then we're coming down the stairs to our master. Another thing I really like about this house is that there's not a lot of stairs between each floor. Well, some of the floors. Um, at least compared to the house we currently live in and it all sort of feels close together-ish there's something I don't know how you describe it yeah. or why you feel why I feel that way about this house but it feels like it's all quite cosily arranged yeah it just flows, flows nicely. yeah it flows it does flow nicely this this house um, right, so our master bedroom, I can't remember if the last time I showed you it had plaster on, but it certainly has plaster on now. Uh, we've got big bay windows in this room and obviously got the alcoves. We're going to try and keep the original flooring. I, I forgot to say that upstairs we're doing a reclaimed wood floor with the reclaimed wood flooring company. We're going to try and keep these boards and try and keep them looking old because unfortunately... One of the first things we did was we redid the floor in our living room and it was sanded a lot and now and lacquered and now it does not look how we wanted it to look. It looks quite new so we've got to take good care of these ones and brush some of that dust into them. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this was two rooms, obviously you can see where the the wall was. Forgive me if I'm repeating myself, obviously some of you guys know this, but there will be a big bookshelf here and our bed will sit against that. Uh, and the reason for that is we thought about a lot of things because our bed is going to be significantly wider than the chimney breast. We thought about having book like bookshelf like widening the chimney breast and then having bookshelves but they would have been very narrow and small and weird looking. We thought about just putting the bed up against that and having shelving and furniture in front of it, but I just think it wouldn't really have looked quite right. So we've gone with another bookshelf. It's basically gonna hide the chimney breast, which I don't love. I don't love hiding the chimney breast, but we have these alcoves pretty much everywhere in this house. There's just, we've got them in the living room as well, so. We're not going to be short of chimney breast and alcove look. We're going to have obviously like a double depth bookshelf and then like a single depth shallow bookshelf over the chimney breast itself. Um, and it's just going to look like one huge bookshelf. And it's going to be nice. I would love the room to look basically this color, this kind of pinky terracotta y plaster color. I kind of want to keep it as it is, but. Pete says it will look good. So we're going to think about that some more. We've ordered our cornicing from in here, for in here. They had modernised the cornicing and they dropped the ceiling. So we've reinstated the height of the ceiling uh, and we'll be putting some nice cornicing that is kind of from the era. Not actually from the era, but the design is. That's all for this room really um, because we kind of want to keep it fairly <laughs> empty. I love bedrooms where all you have is basically the bed. Um, I think it's quite a relaxing vibe. Um, and this room gets lots of light. And then into this room, which they were actually, this doorway was always here between these two bedrooms. So a little bit weird if you wanted to actually use them for bedrooms. Um, but they were also, they were actually, I think, using this space as a dressing room. It had a wall of wardrobes there. There was another doorway there. Um, but we are converting it. This window is massive. Every time I see it, I think it's enormous. We're converting it into a bathroom because, yeah, I think it adds a lot of value to a house if the master has a proper ensuite. I think people, that's what people want. They buy a house 
<laughs> they want they want an ensuite. We are going to have a sort of faux wall here, sinks up against it, then a shower in here, and then a loo around the other side of the wall. I don't know if that makes any sense. Should I demonstrate with my body? So there's gonna be a wall here. There'll be sinks here. It won't be a it won't go to the wall. And then you'll walk into the shower. Have a shower here. And there'll be obviously a wall separating the shower from the wall around the other side. The loop. Um, it was originally the other way around, but we switched and can't even remember why. I mean, the shower's going to be darker now, because obviously the window's here. But it was so that it wasn't looking from yes, my bed into the toilet. From the bed, you will no longer be right next to the loo, which is nice. Um, and then there'll be a bit of space, obviously, and then there'll be a bath here, which is going to be great. Proper roll top bath. I think we're going to have freestanding furniture in these alcoves and then we have, this has been knocked through and it is now, it is going to be a proper fireplace. So we need to get us around for that. Um, and yeah, gorgeous big window. I never think of this window as big, but it is actually really big. So I'm hoping it's going to look nice. So yeah, the battle in here and with all the bathrooms and I imagine the kitchen as well is to keep it looking old but have all of the amenities that you want in a modern bath. So we're going with quite old fashioned looking tapware. We've had a lot of <laughs> debates about the tapware because you know how annoying it is to have like one hot tap and one cold tap. Very annoying, but it looks a lot better. <laughs> this bathroom, because it's a big space, it's quite easy to keep it looking old because we could keep the fireplace. I think we're gonna have the faux wall or the kind of three-quarter wall. I think that's going to be in a tadelact plaster. So the other thing we really like is a sort of quite rustic, unfinished look, hence why I kind of want to keep the plaster in the master. So yes, we're kind of adding that in. So it's old-fashioned, but it's also rusticy. So the tadelact will add that element. But yeah, all the loos are going to be old-fashioned looking. Zach wanted a big Thomas Crapper in here. Are we having a Thomas Crapper in here? No. Because no, the wall doesn't go tall enough. No, unfortunately, no Thomas Crapper. No, no. no Thomas Crapper. For vanity in here, again, we would love to have freestanding basins again because they just look so nice, but alas, it's not practical. So we are going to have probably a, like an antique or vintage piece of furniture and put the basins in there. So yeah, lots of elements keeping it looking old, even though it's not an old bathroom by any means. So yeah, so that's our master. Okay, coming down the stairs. Stairs are still up for debate. I would love to have them raw wood, but I think it's such a lot of work to take the millions of layers of paint off them. Into this space, which um, has undergone quite the transformation as well. It was a uh, kind of similarly big bathroom to the one directly above Inez's bathroom. Um, and then a and, and small room with a kind of, yeah, like I said, a weirder proportion to it. So we have knocked it through, made it a kind of square room. And we're unfortunately not going to have a downstairs loo because um, it was just way too expensive to do one in the basement which is kind of what we originally wanted so we've got a little loo here where there was a loo originally and also Pete found an old window which had been bricked up so we can reinstate that window and we have a window in there too yeah so this is going to be our dressing room uh, a big luxury obviously this <laughs> I mean it should if need be whoever owns this house next can convert this back into a bedroom but we yeah we're gonna have it as a dressing room because we've got a a lot of stuff um it's gonna be fairly simple two rows of wardrobes uh right down the sides of the room because this looks quite quite like a big space now but i think once you put those back in it's gonna 
feel quite narrow. And we've nicked some of the hallway, yeah. There was we had quite a big we have quite a big hallway here. Um yeah, the hallway came up to there. So we're nicking some, taking it up to this door. Um so yeah, there'll be a some shoes shoes here because it's nice and shallow for when you like walk in you're not walking straight into cupboard and then a row of wardrobes there a row of wardrobes there underneath there is going to be a little dressing table for me um and like a row of or like a column of um shelves for makeup and stuff like that there's going to be i think like a just a piece of furniture down the middle it's a little too narrow for an island of any kind um we have done at the interiors of our wardrobes. I think I did that in a vlog recently, so you can have a look at what I decided for my side. Zach's got a side, I've got a side, this is Zach's side. That's my side. We're excited. I don't know if we'll do anything against that wall. Did we think, talk about like handbag storage or something there? Yeah. Um, and I think we're going to have a mirror probably here. Or did you want one over there with the light? Don't know. We need to think about mirrors. So yeah. We took that chimney stack out. Oh yeah, there was a chimney stack there, but to make the room square and kind of practical for wardrobes, we did take that one out, and we've also taken the one below it out, which is in the kitchen. Okay, coming down to the ground floor, which is a space we haven't really thought. Of. When we obviously have thought about it, it's obviously to a basic extent designed, but and like you know from a. Um, planning permission point of view you know we've got a design in but from a things done point of view not so much so this is the double reception room very typical for Victorian properties this room this front room will be a library room and the middle room will be a sort of snug sitting room had a lot of debate about the bookshelves in here but I think I will talk you through them at a later date um, when we've got nice drawings or something of them and then kitchen is really a space that for Zach and I we've contacted Devol which is a pretty famous kitchen company and yeah so basically this wall's going it's going all the way up to the garden wall you can see there that's the chimney stack we took out so it was a pretty fair sized kitchen just to begin with we're also dropping the floor with beneath right beneath me now is basement but obviously the rest out there is just there's no foundations on this bit because it kind of comes off the outside of the house anyway oh yeah i don't know if you can oh yeah you kind of can see that so the floor will be dropping all the way down to there so even this bit underneath the house is gonna feel a lot taller let alone the bit underneath the glass and there'll be glass over on that side but yeah this this kitchen i will talk you through as we design more and more of it i don't think there's l much point in going over uh loads of it now because it's really just beginning so yes we need to we're gonna have a design appointment in with devol um and chat about the kitchen zach is was a chef in a previous so life chef. Still a chef, it's just mentality, Always isn't it? Always a chef. So the kitchen is very much his domain. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a big thing for us to design this space and for Zach to have his own kitchen, which he designed. And maybe if I'm involved a little bit, I might do some cooking. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but um, you have to see it. yes, that's the next big thing. Really, is to design this kitchen. I mean. Garden wise, I'm just gonna pop you out the window. Um, it looks like a tip. It looks like a, tip. <laughs> it looks like a big space. We really would love to get that pro We've got ideas for the garden, but that is like so low down on the priority list. <laughs> we would love to have a house to live in first. Um, but it does catch the sun all afternoon and it's gonna be a really lovely space, but that is low, 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 low down the priority list. So yes, that is where are we up to? I just wanted to get this video out so it would be a nice baseline for us to work from. And basically from now on, I will keep you much more updated on the house as we go. Um, like I said, for me and Zach, next big steps are to, to design this space properly. All its little ins and outs, 
Um, Pete's still got some bits to do upstairs, so there'll be still things going on up there. And then, yeah, he'll start down here properly, dropping the floor, etc., etc. So lots to be getting on with. But yeah, I'll make videos as and when it kind of makes sense. I imagine that from now on, I hope that I've inserted some clips into this one, but from now on, it's going to be you know, selection of clips over many days as we sort of work our way through different things um, and I'll take you along with me. Oh yes, yeah, so this is tongue and groove panelling guys. Um, this is on our staircase. So yes, we would love, they're going to try and mimic this one. So that's what it's going to look up, like upstairs but obviously a different kind of colour. But that's what the whole loft is going to be panelled in. We're going to go, because we've got to go <laughs> see our baby. <laughs> Thank you for watching today, and I will see you, see you soon with some good updates. I'll let you know. I'll let you know.